Search the archives. Look for manifests, bills of lading, requisition orders. Anything that might link the company to the half-breed shipments. How are we supposed to look through all this? Keep it down, Finley. Just don't go out for me, Knight! Over here! You will want to see this. These are shipments that were sent to my homeland. If this log is to be believed, the company now has a foothold in every Indian state. Here, the Agamemnon shipment, destined for the eastern coast of the Americas. And three more shipments planned along the same route. RMS Oceanic is next. It set sail in six weeks. Where's Finley? Things. Do you believe me now? He is the one behind all this. The Whitechapel killings. The half-breed scourge. United India. All you. Jacob Van Neck. Or as the Fleet Street pamphleteers have so fondly named me, Jack the Ripper. At your service. I thank you, Sir Lucan, for delivering these meddlers. Deal with them. And do not fail us. You. Quite fortuitous, wouldn't you say, Sir Galahad? The rebel leader captured, and a traitor revealed, all in one fell swoop. The traitor being you, regrettably. Alistair. 
How could you? Forgive me, brother. I have to look to my own kind above all. Your kind? Run! Confirmation of multiple intruders at the United India House. The Metropolitan Police has been ordered to remain on standby. <laughs> Stay where you are. Wait, I can't I explain. said, don't move. You arrive in good time. We received a report of a disturbance. Yes, Sir Galahad stormed in here with a filthy band of rebels intent on killing me. It's a lie. Oh, see the result of that little incursion. Sir Galahad's accomplice was a woman. The leader of the rebellion, in fact. She eluded our grasp. Not for long. You will order the company guards to stand down, Lord Hastings. We knights will see to the capture of the rebel leader. Izzy, listen to me. You're making a grave mistake. Sir Percival, take this intruder into custody. I am truly sorry this office must fall upon you, Marquis. No more than I am, monsieur. Get him out of my sight. I thank you, Lady Igraine. 
Your intervention was truly fortuitous. We are only carrying out our sworn duty, Lord Hastings. They're all the same, my lady. You would do well to keep a close eye on that traitor. You may expect to be summoned before the courts. Your testimony will be required. I am always at the service of Her Majesty's knights. The prisoner stands accused of the most heinous crimes. Sir Galahad has betrayed our ancient trust. More than this, he has conspired with godless rebels. Adding to his litany of evil, he has presumed to take the life of our esteemed Chamberlain, Lord Hastings. Sir Galahad is a base traitor. A man without honor or scruple. I ask the Council to impose the supreme penalty. I beg the Council's indulgence. Let us not forget Sir Galahad's service to this order over the centuries. Perhaps our brother Knight can be saved. And once more put onto the righteous path. The Knight Commander shows too much leniency. The proof against the traitor is... Irrefutable. I saw Sir Galahad in the company of the rebel leader. I was too far away to hear them clearly, but they seemed on familiar terms. They were leaving an establishment known to harbor rebels. Sir Galahad sought an audience with the Lord Chancellor and me. He hurled a number of senseless accusations at the United India Company, and seemed intent on finding Lord Hastings. Bring in Lord Hastings! Lord Hastings, you have identified the prisoner as your assailant? Sir Galahad infiltrated our headquarters late night. Accompanied by the rebel leader and her followers. I could not be sure that the man I was following was Sir Galahad until... I found his coat. Discarded near the rebel hideout. As his commander, I tried to dissuade him from pursuing his allegations. It is now clear he did not heed my advice. They incapacitated several of my guards and entered my chambers, intent on killing me. We found Lord Hastings wounded by the prisoner's hand. He must stand condemned by his own actions. Honored knights, how do you find for the prisoner? Guilty. 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 The sentence is death. Ugh. 
come on you. Pick it up. I thought you about giving up the ghost now, didn't we? Fancy enough a rant. Close up. Surrender yourself! No one may escape the penalty! You forget, Lord Chancellor. I'm as good as dead already. Galahad! Gently, my friend. Will he survive? That is for him to decide. Two days. It has already been two days. We cannot leave him here like this. I have done what I can. It is not for me to protect him now. I will call upon him if he lives through this ordeal. My friend. My friend. You must stay with us. Sir Galahad! Sir Galahad! Here, Lady Lakshmi. You were right to bring me here, Nicola. There's not much more I can do. All of London is looking for him. So they are. We will take care of him. Time will tell if you'll make it through. Do not be a fool, Nicola! I do not have a choice! If I'm gone too long, they will suspect something. What if they already know? You have helped enough. Let us handle matters from now on. There is still so much for me to do, Lady Lakshmi. Please, take care of him. I fear that without him, we do not stand a chance. You're not one to give up so easily. Where am I? You're at a safe house on the embankment. You've been in and out of consciousness for almost a fortnight. But come, we must make our way back to Whitechapel. The authorities are searching for you everywhere. How did you find me? 
You must thank Nicola. He brought you here and sought my help. Nicola. How do you know Nicola? I will let him explain his involvement in our affairs. Nicola left you these. He thought you would appreciate them. Come, let's go. Lakshmi, the Blackwater. How did you come about it? It was bestowed on me. You mean to say, a knight? Sabors de Ganis. Sabors has not been seen since the search for the Grail. You say he lives in East India. I did not say he lived at night. 